iCharger is just about to release the most powerful charger that they have ever made. And some of the Eagle Eye viewers out there will notice that these two new chargers actually have the exact same shells as the 308 and the 406 Duo. And where they may share the same shell and color scheme, these chargers both got massive upgrades. These are the two most powerful chargers that iCharger has ever made. Let's go over all of the changes on these new iChargers. But first, please hit the like and subscribe button, because I don't see anybody else making content on unreleased chargers like this. Thanks. First off, both chargers are listed as having a 45 amp charge rate on both channels. They also have a higher input current, which means you can use a lower voltage power supply and still get away with pretty high charge rates. This is a big win for everybody trying to get by with their 12 volt power supplies. It is still best to run a 24 volt power supply if you need a 1500 watt output from this charger. If you need the full 2200 watts, you will need at least a 32 volt power supply. Now even though these chargers can go up to 49 volts, I actually don't recommend going above a 32 volt power supply. Since the 456 can only charge 6S batteries, starting with a 50 volt input is regulating a whole lot down to a 25 volt battery. I am familiar that a higher voltage means less amperage to maintain the same wattage. I am, however, not convinced that that is always the best for every circuit. Some awesome things that stayed around are the tab buttons and the beloved scroll wheel from the iCharger Duos. We've also got some new features like power output mode and individual cell capacity testing, which is one of my favorite things on the iChargers. And it's so awesome to see the duos now supporting it. To accommodate the 45 amp charge rates, they did away with the banana plugs, moving over to XT90s. The chargers now also come with open style JST-XH balance plugs, which means you could take the balance lead of just about any battery and plug it directly into the front of the charger without a need for a balance board. The chargers are protected, so even if you plug the balance lead in incorrectly, it's just going to give you a connection error. I guess this is a great time to mention that Progressive RC is going to have all of the cables and adapters that you'll need for these chargers, including an adapter that will allow you to use all of your old charge cables and resistor banks that you used with the 308 and 406 Duos, which yes, both of these chargers are compatible with and at higher discharge rates than ever. Progressive RC did just put a pre-order up today for the 458 Duo, which will be the first one to come out. The 456 will be out a little bit later, which does make sense because the 458 is essentially the new flagship for iCharger. So that brings up the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share this with a friend who is into iChargers, and we'll see you guys again later. Peace.